we move on to the weather, the winds have died down a bit, but it was a different story earlier today when hurricane force winds hit the Oregon coast. And winds more than 50 miles per hour actually whipped through the Willamette Valley. And in tonight's team coverage, we have Chief Meteorologist Justin Stapleton. He has been monitoring conditions all day and will let us know what's in store for tonight. Reporter Sarah Hurwitz is live in Springfield to tell us how Lane County is handling that storm. First, though, let's turn to reporter Rhoda Krause, who spent the day on the coast today where the storm made its biggest impact. Rhoda? Matt and Renee, I am standing here along Highway 20 in Corvallis. Now, if you take this road west, it'll take you straight into Newport. Now, here in southwest Corvallis, it is raining a little bit, but the winds have died down for the moment. In Newport today, that was a completely different story. Earlier, I spoke with fishermen who were coming back into the port, wanting to avoid a huge storm at sea. Thursday morning, the calm before the storm. Here's the crab right about now. Uh, the season opened on the first, but we've only been able to get out once. The port of Newport full of boats with returning fishermen. And with the weather, it's been uh, difficult to get out and catch any, so I think it's been pretty difficult for everybody. Just the normal routine, make sure all of our stay lines are tight, um, buoy bumper balls are in the water, everything's lashed down on the deck. Today, I'm just going to come down and check on the boat. It, uh, it rained a lot and it blew pretty hard, and I'm just making sure that it's not going to sink. <laughs> Within a few hours, the brewing storm blowing its winds through Newport. It's, it's a pretty good storm. We haven't seen winds this speed for a while. The beach is empty and fishermen staying put. Safety, the number one priority. It's just going to be too nasty out there for any of the big boats or anybody to stay out there. And the crab aren't there right now, so it's not worth your life to go out there and fish for a couple crabs. The crab also hiding from the storm. Yeah, they kind of hunker down, you know, and wait for the storm to pass. And then hopefully from being buried so long, they get kind of hungry and they start biting. So that's what we're kind of hoping for. Fishermen hoping the storm will pass quickly so they can get back out to sea and start working again. Now, if you are planning on heading out to the coast, ODOT is reminding drivers to drive slowly, but also to plan an alternate route. Because of the high winds, ODOT is expecting more down trees on the roads, which could be blocking roads and you might get stuck. So make sure to have an alternate route in mind. Live in Corvallis, Rhoda Krause, KEZI 9 News.